Welcome to Miyako's Hibachi Grill. Please, have a look at the menu. Ah, you see, we have a world-class sham chef that can cook anything you desire. Just write down your favorite food, and it's yours. Perfect! Wonderful! Off we go to your table. Follow me right this way. Today, I'll be your virtual chef drawing up the food menu. You need a good eye for food to draw it well. I'd say I did pretty average. Not terrible, but not a five-star Michelin. But you didn't hear it from me, because I'm the chef, and I would never say that. I started by preparing a 64 by 64 pixel squares and making a rough sketch of each using Clip Studio Paint. I eventually switched back to my iPad not long after since I didn't want to be confined to my desk. Unfortunately, I did not get to record every single food that I drew just simply because time constraints. I started this project way more than a month ago, probably at this point, and I just need to get it done. I was not anticipating how many people would reply, but thank you guys for doing so because I had a lot of fun reading all of them and seeing all the different foods that you guys chose because on god I was so hungry looking at those reference photos. I was so hungry and it was not a good idea to look those up while I was hungry. <laughs> I also noticed way too late that I had incorrectly colored the tiramisu. I mean, there probably could be like a chocolate tiramisu that's entirely chocolate, but most of the ones I see uses white cream, so I did make a mistake there, but I think I did eventually end up fixing it in the end. I think. When I was working on the lasagna, I found it really hard because splotching the orange and yellows in the right way was really difficult, especially to show the yellow goldening of the cheese. I always made it way too dark, but then once I added a really bright highlight of yellow, it kind of all came together. I wanted to make the sushi dish look elaborate and kind of really nice to look at, but in the end, I went with these simple repeating patterns just simply because I got lazy and I was getting tired at the end of the day. To be fair, sushi is really just a roll that's cut up, so in the end, it's all repeating pieces because it's the same roll. If only cooking food was as easy as copy and pasting it over and over again. In terms of drawing food, I would say the hardest thing for me is color picking, but also getting the individual shapes and color, color values correct. With food, they have a very specific brown color that if you do not choose a nice brown, it'll just look unappetizing. In my case, I just bumped up the saturation by like 50% and prayed that it would do anything to fix the food. And more often than not, it actually did help it look better. Oddly enough, even though I had 64 pixel space, like 64 by 64, I still felt that it was hard to get the shapes correct. I don't know. But yeah, I did find the shapes hard to do. I also really dislike the process of drawing rice. There's probably a much better way to do it than individually choosing a slightly different value each time and putting it next to each other because I look at it and it kind of looks a little grainy. How can I explain it? it? It doesn't like take a nice shape that's clear to the viewer, I feel, and instead sort of blurs together into a jumbled mess. Personally, if I could go back, I would probably change the way I drew the rice. But it was also the most time consuming, so I kind of just copy pasted that and was just accepted it. I embraced the rice. I used to really like spare ribs a lot. Still eat it, even after dropping it on the floor. 
neutralizing and getting rid of all the sauce and flavor with water and enjoy it like I never had before. But now that I've gotten older, I feel like I don't really have a favorite food. I'll have foods that I enjoy more than others, but I don't have something that I'm like super duper obsessed with for a very long time. If anything, it's more like a short time temporary obsession. For example, there was this period of time where I ate a whole bunch of takoyaki and I would constantly eat those all the time that I could. And then it just dies out. The same idea of my food obsessions is like how you can get obsessed with cereal for a week and then just completely forget about it all after you finish your last bowl. But yes, that is about all I have for today's video. Thank you for joining me in my fancy restaurant. I hope you enjoyed the doodles, the drawings, and the little chat. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!